Okay, loves, I'm just going to jump straight into the video. Shout out to DYHair 777 for sponsoring this video. All the details about this hair will be in the description box, so do check it out. The hair does come with an instruction card on how to wash and keep your hair clean, and also the, their social media details, and they also gave me that cute little pin. Um, I do like the hair. I really do like the hair. I just feel like it sheds a lot. And also I tried bleaching the knots but they don't look bleached at all because I think the lace is too thick. So maybe I should have let the bleach sit for quite longer, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to put on foundation on the lace just to make it look nicer. And as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my belt cap method. Um, as you can see, I'm just cutting out the ears. Make sure you don't cut out a big hole because it will run all the way to your head. Just cut a little hole just so you can be able to pull your ears out. And also, I don't think it's necessary to pull the cap all the way to your eyes and be cutting out your eyes. That step is really not necessary at all. So after cutting out my ears, I'm just going to put the glue exactly where my hair starts. And I'm not going to put in a lot of glue. Guys, with wig installations, you need to be as neat and as tidy as possible. Don't be messy and now try to rely on the glue remover because you are going to have problems. So just try to be as neat and as careful as possible with your glue. The corners of your wig cap are the most important. You need to make sure you put as enough glue as possible there because if you try to cut your um, cap and that part lifts, it is going to give you a bit of troubles. Actually, you put enough glue everywhere. Not too much though, but just make sure you put enough glue everywhere, especially on the corners of your wig cap. Now I'm just going in with my hair dryer. Make sure the temperature is on the highest heat. This is just going to help the wig cap to... Uh, melt down on your skin and for the glue to dry I'm also going to use my got to be spray glue just to give the cap the extra support make sure you kind of tilt your head backwards because the glue does have a tendency of rolling to your face because it's liquid So after the glue has completely dried out, I'm just going to go in with my foundation on the cap just to give it that natural look. So when you cut the cap, you want to make sure you cut as close as to where the glue ends so that you don't have any excess uh, cap remaining because that can also be a bit of a problem.
I usually just tie the remaining cap at the back. You can cut it off if that's what you prefer. So the next thing I'm going to do is put another layer of glue. And this specific layer is going to be exactly where the cap starts because I want to still secure the cap down. So what I'm going to do is push the glue towards the front just to help any excess cap remaining if there's any to just lay down flat. This still counts as the first layer of the glue because I'm going to be applying two layers of the glue for this installation. Guys, please don't put as much glue as I'm putting. I actually noticed really late that that glue is actually way too much.
so guys my camera battery died and i noticed really late after cutting my lace i even had to switch to my phone as you can tell the quality is quite different but right now i'm just going to be doing my edges And yeah guys that is all for this installation this was one of my easiest installations i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a thing or two please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you guys on my next video bye